Hey, what's up guys? JD Vim here back with you for another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video. If you guys are new around here, definitely leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, and like the Facebook page. Or both those links are down below. Don't want to talk too much. I, this is going to be a live reaction to the new um, DLC maps for Black Ops 3. Don't want to waste any more time. Let's get into it. We are know what we are here for, so let's do this here. So, let's full screen this. And, uh, mind you, the volume is low. It's not from my computer. It's from the stream itself. So, uh, this was doing the live stream here. So, um, I rewinded it. I didn't, I rewinded it all the way back to the beginning until they got to, up to talking about to the first map. So, uh, let's do this here. Here we go. I did that perfectly. Okay, Verge. Okay. This is a reimagining. Where does it come from? And what are we offering this time? So, Verge is pretty awesome. It's the reimagining of Bonsai. Oh, shit! And we were really excited. Bonsai, World at War. Because it offers some of those challenges just built into the map. It has really high verticality. God, Bonsai. Okay. Bonsai was originally a DLC map from. Bla I'm sorry, from uh, World at War. That was originally a, a DLC map pack from World at War. That's fucking awesome. And it has the bridge in the middle, and it and it has the um, water that where you can have too. So th yeah, that's pretty fucking awesome. Okay. That looks like yeah. That looks like the back of the map. The bridge is in the middle where you see it right there, right where that crane's at, right there, with those two arcs. That's, that has to be the bridge right there. Then that's the left side, where you can go around, and you can go through the bottom underneath the bridge, where I'm assuming where there'll be water at. That's pretty cool. They haven't not said when this is actually going to be coming out, this actual map pack, so I'm assuming next week, next Tuesday or Tuesday after. It has to be within the next couple weeks. Yeah. So you still got the classic bridge. You could clock in, go to work, fight the other side. Uh, but now with wall running, you know, if you want to be clever. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of wall running. Um, there's going to be a lot of uh, underwater stuff on this map, I'm assuming. Uh, there's ca there's a cave up to the right side. I don't know if it's going to be a cave still, but. Yeah, this is. Um, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty fucking excited for this map, Bonza. I think it's going to be something very, very fun. Yeah, I can I can see people jumping off the bridge into the water, like um, just to save themselves. Right. So, yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Let's move on to Spire. Right? Spire, so okay. This is, uh, this is a takes place in a suborbital airport. Whoa! Holy shit! Okay, <laughs> that looks like some from the Jetsons. Yeah, very futuristic. It looks like a it look. This looks like a small map, like kind of like a. I don't compare maps because I mean, but it looks like a small, like a nuke town or a combine. Like I think this may be the small map of, of the whole entire map pack. Man, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. Yeah. So he's saying he can't carry into the snipers or anything. So I guess it's like a hybrid map, maybe. Maybe it's like a medium sized map, but it's not not like a. You know, like a uh, close quarters, or you know, kind of like a uh, like a standoff in a way, because uh, you know, standoff that was like you know, you can do everything in that map. So, 
clearly going to work on that side. Um, and then oh, okay, you know, I see. So one side is going to be dedicated towards. Okay. okay. All right, well, I guess it's just something that we have to wait and see on Spire. Um, we don't really have anything else to say about it. I mean, it should be pretty cool, though. I mean, it, 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 like, it, the appeal of the map looks fucking awesome. Like, all this all-white, futuristic, clean look. Like, I dig maps like that. I, don't, I really hate the grungy-looking maps uh, that we've seen, like, in Ghost and things of that nature. Like, the really very, very dark maps. Unless it has, like, a theme to it, like, you know what I mean? Uh, there was, um, the one from Black Ops 2 with the, it was kind of a dark map. It wasn't really dark, but it was, like, magma or some shit. The one, the one with, with the fucking lava and shit. So, um, you know, maps like that, I like, uh, you know, those are okay to be dark, but, like, this map here, it looks, it looks appealing. It looks nice. So, I don't know how the gameplay is yet, because we haven't got there, but we'll just have to wait and see. Right. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. These, these dark maps, I don't really dig too much. I don't know, because, I mean, appealing-wise, I... Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't really like dirty maps like this. I mean, not. I mean, there's some maps that worked in the past, as I mentioned from before, but it's just like, ugh. At least it has more color than what Ghost will have been. I don't know. I, I don't know what to think about this, guys. It says unlock there. I wonder if you can close doors. It said unlocked there on the little door. I wonder if you can close and open doors. Okay. A wall run in the middle. Okay. If it works, it. I mean, that doesn't. Okay, I see. I see what they're talking about in the middle right there. Okay, right there. That's the middle of the map. This may be the small map, actually. Because it doesn't look too big. Okay. Alright, last map. Knockout. Knockout? Love this one. Miles, tell us a little bit about that setting. So, Knockout is a really fun map. Uh, on top of the it game, sounds it's fun. I mean, Knockout. Knockout like power. Oh, shit. We're gonna be fucking doing some karate, motherfuckers. Oh, that's fucking awesome. This reminds me of War at War. Reminds me of Castle a little bit, because Castle looks something like this here. This is obviously not reimagining, though. 
hires people to come and fight for him on his tournament. But he also loves the 70s and he loves old school kung fu. Again, the parallels are amazing here. <laughs> so the interiors, there's one where it's a disco. The guy has his own personal disco. Disco? He's light up and he's got a disco ball. What? So you're outside and you're looking at this very traditional Asian urn, uh, this dragon that's very intimidating, uh, but then you can bust the move by going into the disco for a few minutes, uh, slaying a few people, and then you can cut out to the uh, rooftops where you can use the Okay. Dragon goes disco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, I can, I can speak to the gameplay. Uh, being, sure. Being a student, of the martial arts myself. Um, it's not true. Um, <laughs> only on your mind. Yeah. <laughs> I try. Uh, no, so this one is interesting uh, because kind of one of the core concepts of the map is, is King of the Hill. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it, you know, oh, a lot shit. of times we'll, we'll have these, uh, say on Spire, for example, we have these two opposing overwatches. Uh, and, and oh, I, this you know, map looks cool, but I don't like the sound of the King of the Hill. Oh man, I hope there's a lot of cover on the bottom there. If, there, if there's somebody high up, I, will, I I just hope there's gonna be a lot of cover on the bottom of it. If it's something that, if the, if the actual map scales up. It doesn't look like that, but the way that they're saying that it is. Um, you know, I, I think back to uh, a Black Ops 2 map, which is slums. It, it's got kind of a slums vibe with that, that big center courtyard. Slums? Okay, I like slums. I like slums. So, so with that courtyard, you know, you kind of think back. I think some is a very underrated map in Black Ops too. <laughs> like it's so fun. It's one of my favorites. That kind of raised platform and the trophy room and kind of see where everybody's going. And there, there may may not be some gongs in this map. Yeah, this one again is constantly pushing, and it's all about you want to get to this destination. We do a good job across all the maps of finding really good defendable locations that you want to get to, and this map has that. But the King of the Hill aspect is something we really went for. You want to get into that room. You want to get on the mat in the center, and you want to hold it down. That's where you want to be. So there's constant conflict, always in there and holding it down. But it's very hard to do. So that's where the risk and reward come. If you can, and your team can hold it down, you're going to be successful. Awesome. Okay. Any closing thoughts on any anything multiplayer? Closing thoughts. Uh, well, New I weapons. Think, I think uh, I can speak for myself and the teams. I think we're extremely proud uh, of this pack. I think we. All right, I think that's gonna be it for this year. Yeah, all right. So they're done talking about the map pack. So that means I'm done live reacting, guys. Well, that is it, guys. If you guys like this video, definitely leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter and like the Facebook page, and tell me what you are most excited for for the new DLC map pack coming out. They didn't give me a date, but assuming it's gonna be within the next couple weeks. But now we know what the maps are, now we know what the new uh, Zombies map is, which is going to be in another video on my channel. So check out bo both of these videos here, well, you're checking out this video here, but go check out the other zombie, the Zombies video uh, for the intro cinematic. But I'll see you guys later, you guys have a great day. Peace out.